morning boys and girls. Today is Wednesday, April the 22nd, 2020. And we have been talking about insects and watching our caterpillars and all this kind of fun stuff. We even got to see Charlie having a little bug crawl on her. And some of the other guys may have found some bugs that you want to share with us. Then you're welcome to do that at any time, okay? <clears throat> but today I want to talk a second about uh, the day that has been set aside as Earth Day. Well, what do you mean by Earth Day, Miss Baldwin? Well, I'm going to read you a little story, and it's not very long, and I want you to listen to it, and then I'm going to send you on a little field trip before we get into our lessons. So this might be a little bit long, but um, all together, but things go by pretty quick, okay? All right, so it says, I want you to close your eyes. Close your eyes, and you're going to use that um, eyeball that's in your head, and I want you to imagine what the perfect place would look like. What do you see? Are there trees and flowers blooming in the springtime? Is there a park nearby or a pond where people can go fishing? How about animals, such as squirrels and birds? Do you see those too? Keep your eyes closed. Oh, that sounds beautiful, right? Keep those eyes closed. And now, picture that same picture in your head. But now, the pond you see has trash in it. Where no one wants to fish. Instead of the trees blooming and flowers, you just see a bunch of concrete thrown down. There is no park to play in because there is a landfill instead, which is where they collect the trash. It doesn't sound too inviting for squirrels and birds or even people. This is what could happen in our earth if we don't do something about it, okay? That's what Earth Day is all about. We can do something about it, and each year on April 22nd, people celebrate ways that we can help protect our Earth. Okay? There was an oil spill a long time ago that caused people to want to take notice and take care of our Earth, okay? The oil polluted the water, and it killed many animals that lived in and around it, and so that's why Earth Day was organized. It's to help us learn about and how important it is to take care of things and value it for its natural resources. We have, our earth gives us things that we naturally get from it. We can't make these things, okay? A natural resource is anything that people can use that comes from nature. Like water, plants, and clean air are all examples of natural resources. People do not make natural resources. We can only get them from the earth and that's why we need to take care of it, okay? We need to conserve our natural resources. And conserve means not to waste them, okay? Well, you might be asking yourself, what can I do? I'm just a kid. You can do so much to help. You can start right in your own neighborhood or your land around you just by doing little things that, like making sure there's no litter and yet you don't litter. You can also reuse old things instead of throwing them away and recycling bottles and metal cans and paper and I tell you, you guys are really good. You would use old paper to make books back in class. And you use both sides and all pieces of it. You were really good at that. That's why we always had a mess, right? <laughs> so if we don't do something, we'll be leaving this earth in kind of a bad shape. And there are many things that we can do to help to keep those land and water and air clean for everyone. In fact, opportunities are endless on how you can be a part of who you're working every day to take care of our earth, okay? So those are the things that we're gonna think about doing and think about what we have and what we can do to take care of them, okay? Okay, guys, um, I'm gonna send you on your field trip so you can watch that and then I'll see you in part two. All right, bye guys.